frailty is the thing that seems to determine the quality of your final decade on this earth. That's the part that's amazing to me. It's not like the people who are suffering from frailty and sarcopenia are out of sight because they're our parents and our grandparents. We've watched it. We've been to the movie over and over and over again. We see how it goes. And yet somehow we either don't think it's going to happen to us or it somehow still seems abstract because it's so many years off. I mean, what, what's your take on this overall challenge? What I think it is is that it's like this incremental thing, right, where something happens to like maybe there's a fall or maybe there's just a surgery, a planned surgery or a hip replacement or a knee replacement. And, P and your, your, your parents or your grandparents are inactive for many weeks and they lose a lot of muscle mass, right? So they, this, this happens when you're young. If this, is, if this is a younger person, it's much easier to gain back that muscle mass, right? It's not the same with an older adult. It's just not the same. Even if you're engaging in resistance training after, it's, you're not going to get the same amount of muscle mass back as you've lost. And these sorts of events um, kind of happen like in periods of time, right? Where like there's a planned surgery and then there's a fall and maybe there's another surgery or maybe there's an, the COVID or the flu or whatever it is. They keep hitting, right? And you, you reach this sort of what's called disability threshold where all of a sudden your parents like they just can't walk much at all anymore. And it's like all of a sudden it's like when did this happen? Well, the evidence was like mounting over the last five years when they had these points of inactivity that, that were occurring. And so I think people kind of just don't follow the timeline, you know, where it's like they see what's leading up to it. And before this sort of catabolic crisis occurs, where then they reach this point now where they've just lost so much muscle mass from these several events that have occurred where they're just not mobile. And then, of course, anabolic resistance is kicking in even more and more and more, and everything is just compounding. When you are young, and young is 40, 50, even 60, you have to build up as much physiologic headroom as possible. You have to prepare for the rainy day because the rainy day is coming. 